Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Part of the obligatory Muslim belief is the belief in the existence of angels and of jinns. Anyone who denies the existence of angels or jinns falls outside the pale of Islam and the person becomes a kafir. To begin with, angels, first of all, are created from light, from nur. So they can take up any shape or form which they like. However, they are known to only assume noble forms, such as the form of a human being. They can travel throughout the universe in the twinkling of an eye, thereby inhabiting both the heavens and the earth. Angels are neither male nor are they female. And unlike us, they do not grow, they do not feed, nor do they reproduce or have children. Angels constantly glorify and praise Allah Jalla Jalaluhu. And disobedience and wrong actions are impossible for angels. They shall therefore enter paradise. There are many different angels assigned to different duties by Allah Azza wa Jalla. The foremost archangels include Jibreel, who conveyed the divine revelation, the Wahi, from Allah Azza wa Jalla to the messengers alayhim wa salatu wa salam. And he also conveyed the holy books. Mikail, who controls the rain and provision sent to the world. Then there is Azrael, also known as Malakul Maut, the angel of death who takes one's soul at the time of passing away. And there is Israfil, who shall blow the trumpet on the last day causing judgment day. There are also recording angels known as Kiraman and Katibin, and they record everyone's good and bad actions. Jinns, on the other hand, are created from fire, from nar. Some are able to take up various shapes and forms if they wish, and they will make they will take forms which are noble and which are base, such as those of snakes. Jinns eat, they drink, they sleep, and they reproduce and die like human beings although they are known to have much longer lifespans than humans. Jinns inhabit the earth only. They have a will to do good or evil. Hence, there are Muslims as well as non-Muslims amongst them, some of whom shall enter paradise and others will enter hellfire. However, whereas in this world we humans are visible and they are invisible, it shall be opposite in the hereafter. Iblis or the shaitan is an accursed, disobedient jinn and evil jinns are also called shaitans. Besides this, we have to understand that the existence of angels and jinns has to, believe, has to be believed literally. Those who reduce angels into meaning, uh, inspiration towards good and those who reduce jinns into being a temptation towards evil, meaning those people who deny the actual existence of angels and jinns and merely state that angels just means good inspiration and jinns merely means evil temptation. Such people become disbelievers because they have denied their actual existence. Believing in the actual existence of angels and jinns is a compulsory part of our faith.